What's up everybody, this is Sick Eric back again with another video and today we're going to be doing a video on how to pixelize your LG V40. Now this will work on any other LG device as well, uh, probably any device uh, really, but this is the LG V40 edition. And uh, as you can see right here, I have the uh, pixel look along with a pixel like theme, dark theme. And uh, it themes out everything as far as the dialer goes. Uh, all your settings and everything else that goes along with it. Uh, messages I deleted, so now I'm using Google Messages. And uh, why well, didn't delete it? I disabled it. And everything like the uh, clock went ahead and downloaded the Google Clock. And you could download the Google Calendar as well. I have the Google Calendar as you can see right here. And you can see it also themes your notification uh, icons at the bottom and your icons up top. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is jump into my list. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to download is the Pixel Experience Dark Theme. I know I misspelled Pixel, my bad. Go ahead and open it and it'll take you onto the Play Store. And here you could go ahead and download this theme. It is 149, but trust me, it is well worth it. It gives you a little preview of all the uh, different settings, dialer, contacts everything is themed out on this theme and it looks excellent uh fairly new theme he does a lot of themes for uh the g7 the v40 the v30 etc and now this is the first theme for the lg v40 so you're going to want to go ahead and purchase that theme and then once you're done purchasing that you're going to go ahead and go into your uh display settings and you're going to hit wallpaper and theme and then you're going to go ahead and click on theme and you should see it um, on your list right here, I believe. No, this is another one. Let's see if we could look for it. Yeah, here we go. So you're going to want to click on the, Sam the uh, Samsung Experience, the Pixel Experience theme. And it'll give you some screenshots of what it'll look like here. And hit apply and you should be ready to go with that one. So, next on the list is going to be uh, pretty much a launcher of your choice. I'm using Action Launcher, which as you can see, has a lot of cool features. You press down, gives you a whole menu of uh, your uh, settings and whatnot right there. And it works really, really well. It's a very, very fast and fluid launcher. Uh, you could click have shortcuts on everything you can swipe on over you have your google feed and i'm also using a rootless pixel launcher i'm sort of jumping in between the both but this one right now is the uh, uh sorry the action launcher right here and you have a whole bunch of different settings especially if you do purchase it um gives you a whole bunch of different options as far as uh double tapping to go into your screen double tapping the home button to go to your camera and stuff like that in your gestures so uh, you're gonna want to go into that and go ahead and download it I'll post links in the description down below this one is for the rootless launcher and as you can see right here it gives you a whole bunch of different options for that and it's really really nice and fluid launcher I've been jumping around between this and action launcher for a while and uh, it does require you to download some sort of bridge so you could have the uh, Google feed on there and then the other launcher is going to be Action Launcher right here, Pixel Edition. Uh, you're going to want to install that and then go ahead and hit Home and then set everything up. As you can see right here, it gives you a whole bunch of different screenshots, customized layout, uh, shutters, and everything. If you haven't used Action Launcher before, I suggest you give it a try. It is a really, really cool launcher. Uh, next on the list is going to be uh, package disabler you could get this off the play store as well and what this allows you to do is disable a lot of the apps that you do not want um, on your phone for me I disabled a lot of a lot of LG apps as you can see right here uh, the clock I did the email uh, the LG home launcher uh, home theme I did all, all the LG account drive bridge LG health and messaging and next radio this is the t-mobile one that comes with the next radio application on there which i do not know why i don't want that on my phone 
but you can disable all of these. It's pretty simple. You just install it, and then once you open up Access Disabler, it'll ask you to grant permissions. You grant them, and then it's all pretty simple from there. You just go ahead and go into it and start clicking whichever ones you do not want on your phone. Pretty much everything that's colored in pink lettering or font is able to be disabled. Uh, but be very, very careful. If you disable the wrong thing, you could mess up your phone and have a whole bunch of um, forecloses or crashes. And then you're stuck uh, trying to fix everything back up again. But you can disable a lot of the bloatware that comes on this device. Very, very handy. And, uh, and just makes your phone run a little bit faster as well. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is download all your Google apps. Uh, once you disabled your LG apps, you're going to want to go ahead and go into the Play Store and just download uh, the Google apps. Like your um, the Chrome, it already comes pre-installed. Uh, you're going to want to get the calculator, the calendar, uh, the clock, and etc. And I also have the uh, messages downloaded as well. And this gives you an option to go with dark theme, which will go with your theme right there so messages i think is really really nice it runs a lot better than the stock lg messaging app that comes installed and like i said you could disable those and download all your google ones and replace all your stock uh, apps with google apps so the next thing on the list and is going to be i believe that is it for the list well actually one more thing on the list which i did not get to put on here there we go you're going to want to download the Pixel 3 Live Wallpaper. So we're going to go ahead and click on the link that I'll be posting down below. And something is not popping up. There we go. So this will take you on over to XDA where you could download uh, the Pixel 3 Live Wallpapers. You could also download the stills if you want them um, just as static wallpaper. Uh, this does need you to download uh, Google Wallpapers as well. You just download it at the Play Store. And it gives you options of what system you're running. So for the LG V30, it'll be the Android 8.0 through Android 8.1. And it has two different ones right here. You can go ahead and click the mirror. And it'll download it for you. Which we're not going to go ahead and do it. And it also has versions for... Android Pi. So if your device is running Android Pi, you could do that as well. And you could also download uh, Google Pixel 3 wallpaper stills. That way, if you don't want the live wallpaper, you can still have the uh, stills on there as well. Now, once you're done downloading that, let's go ahead and click this again and let it download. It's going to take a little while. So while that is downloading, you're going to want to go ahead and go into the Play Store and search for Google wallpapers. And then you're going to want to install that. And once you have that installed, you're going to be good to go to use these uh, Pixel uh, wallpapers. So once you're done with the Pixel wallpapers and it's done downloading, you're going to want to click install. And what that allows you to do is go into live wallpapers and Google wallpapers. And now allows you to use any one of those wallpapers as well. See is right there. Go ahead and click install. I've already installed it, so it's just asking to update. And once that is done, you go ahead and go back. And it gives you all of these different live wallpapers that you could use that come with the Google Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL. You can hit apply. Uh, if you want to hit apply, it gives you the option to set on lock screen or not. We're not going to set it. And it has all these different options as well, so it's really, really cool. Um, option to get all your wallpapers on here as well so that right there will give you all your live wallpapers as you can see my live wallpaper is the cliff one with the birds flying across so really really nice to uh, change the look up your device and make it look more like a pixel phone if you're into that as well as far as the google camera goes there isn't really a fully working google port camera for this device so i have not downloaded it and um, i'm just going to go ahead and wait for that but um, other than that, uh, hopefully one does come out. Another thing you could do is change your lock screen always on display. Right now I have the uh, regular 
analog clock. You can go ahead and go into settings and uh, go into display, always on, and then you could click on digital and you could swipe on over to the one that looks more like the Google Pixel, which I think it is. Where's it at? Which be more like this one, and you can set your font to whatever color you want, but we're gonna go ahead and set it to white. And this one would resemble more of the Google Pixel type, um, always on display. That way uh, you can achieve that look, overall look. And other than that, that is pretty much it, guys. Like I said, all the description, all the uh, links will be in the description down below. That way you can go ahead and go ahead and download all of those apps needed to achieve this look. And if you got any questions, comment down below as well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell for um, notifications on any future content on this device or another device. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. It's all right. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.